I'm not sure I got the um, the automatic focus off of this. The camera's being a little temperamental, so if it gets it comes in and out blurry, um, I think it'll it'll be okay. You'll uh, you'll see enough of this to get get everything you need. All right, so I just wanted to work in one more problem here. Find the principal ninth root. I forgot to write ninth, so I squeeze it in. Principal ninth root of negative 13 minus 24i. So it gives me a chance to remind you one more time to think about the quadrants because what quadrant is that in? It's in third quadrant, isn't it? It's where everything is negative. It's minus 13 minus 24i. It's down here somewhere. And I want to take the ninth root, which means the angle will be one ninth of that big angle. And, um, and then the ninth root of the length, and ah, it's complicated, isn't it? All right, so let's uh, first of all convert this to uh, polar form. So r is the square root of 13 squared plus 24 squared. You know, the negatives will square out. You always get positives on here because you're squaring. So I don't know what that is. 13 squared plus 24 squared is 745. So that's the square root of 745, which is 745 to the 1 ninth power. Now the angle, theta, is inverse tangent of negative 24 over minus 13. So inverse tangent, negative 24 divided by negative 13. You know, I could have just canceled the negatives here, made it 24 over 13. Same difference, uh, 61.56 degrees, 61.56 degrees, which is wrong, isn't it? Because 61 degrees is up here, so I have to add 180, in this case I have to add 180 to get down to that third quadrant. So plus 180, now I'm going to store this on my calculator as x, so I've got all the decimal places, it's 241.56 degrees, okay. So. In rectangular form, we've got 745 to the 1 ninth CIS 241.56 degrees. And, uh, you know, I just see you've probably been screaming out the uh, YouTube video here. Um, that's not 1 ninth power, is it? It's 1 half power. So, sorry about that. 1 half power. 1 half power. There we go. Square root, not ninth root yet. So here is the, the polar form for our original complex number. And I'm going to take the one ninth root. So one half times one ninth is one eighteenth. I have 745 to the one eighteenth power. And then CIS. And then we have to divide this angle by nine. Divide by nine. So divide by nine. And I'm going to store that 26.84 degrees. 26.84 degrees. All right. And, and again, for precision, I like to use all the decimal places. I just don't like to write them down and punch them back in. All right. So um, in rectangular form, let's see, it's going to be 745 raised to the parentheses 1 divided by 18, close parentheses. Um, Cosine, and I'm using my x because x is 26.84 degrees on my calculator. And I get 1.288. And then I'll go back and I'll change that cosine to a sine. And I get uh, plus 0.652i. There we go. So there's the one of the ninth roots, I call it the principal root, ninth root of uh, minus 13 minus 24i. <laughs> there it is. There it is. In all its glory. Now, finding the other eight roots in rec polar, rectangular form wouldn't be too bad if you are able to do what I was, I'm doing on my calculator. And uh, wouldn't be, it's tedious, but it's not too bad. Okay, well, all right, I'm going to uh, do a little extra video here. It's a, a little bit optional, but. Uh, I want to show you some, some beautiful math, so bear with me on this.